Welcome to South of King's Landing, the Explosion Alex After Show, where we discuss each and every episode of Game of Thrones and adjacent shows like House of the Dragon. My name's Don Blight, and joining me, Ashley Hobley. Hey Don, excited to be here to talk about what this show's really, everybody wants from this show. Major characters dying. They always, you know, always in pairs. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta keep it equal. Gotta keep it equal. Um, this week's episode was not called The Dance, Dance of Dragons. Dragons like you said which, last week, you liar. Well, that's what it was listed as. It was, yeah, anyway. Um, the Red Dragon and the Gold. Synopsis was, as Rhaenyra makes sure there is no other way to end the conflict but war, dragons flew and the dance begun. What do you think of this week's episode? Yeah, obviously, you know, it had a high impact ending. <laughs> Uh, but I feel like <laughs> we had a lot of good setup at the start as well. Uh, we've got more Matt Smith going insane. Um, more tension between each of the councils, I guess, you know. Uh, yeah, really good setup. And it feels like the start of the actual war between the two sides, hopefully. Mm. Um, obviously, the last 20 minutes or whatever fantastic i would say that and this isn't the takeaway from how good the rest of it is i would say that first like half the episode the pacing feels off than the rest of the season mm, maybe a little bit just i guess like especially like maybe it's that thing of coming into that episode expecting something big to happen and then i'm just like okay 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 Let's, uh, when's it gonna hit? When does something happen? You know, <laughs> mm. I, I'm expecting something to happen this week, so and, and then, yeah, obviously, we got there. Um, obviously, there's that's what everyone's gonna be talking about. Everyone's gonna be talking about the we finally got dragon versus dragon, like, properly, not just surprise, motherfucker. Um, you know, like two people sort of actually mm. fighting, um, and then you know, two characters die. You know, I don't understand the, I mean, the, yeah, lots of stuff happens. So I don't know, how, how do you even break down the ending of this? We have, we have fucking Cole, Dippy, and um, Kristen Cole. Thinks he's pulling a fast again. one. Yep. Thinks he's doing a fast one with Aemond. Renise comes into battle. Yeah. King Aegon is like. I'm the fucking best person ever. I'm so bored. He comes in, he dies like a little bitch, deservingly. So, do you think Aemon, Aemon took this opportunity to get rid of him? Or was he oh, yeah. Collateral That's how damage? I took it. I took it as 100% him. I mean, wasn't he just going to, wasn't he going to stab him for, to be sure, there before Cole stole up, showed up anyway? Or, Don't maybe know, he's not. He had his sword drawn. Well, you don't know. The dragon might lash out because it's not dead yet. I mean, but if he was going to kill the dragon, I feel like he still would have continued on after no, Cole showed up. Protect himself. I don't know. Maybe self defense. But I mean, he doesn't. You know, he 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 burns his brother to death. Yeah. He doesn't care. No. Today he wants the throne. He's the king, right? Well, I assume that's how it works, right? He he's the king now. I guess so. I I think like there's no because they killed the the heir. they killed the heir, the mm-hmm. the son. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he would be the heir now. Yep. Yep. You know that's going to go well because he's the hothead. I don't you don't think he is the hothead. He's the calculating one. You know? Yeah, all right. Take that back. He's not a hothead. He's a He's sadistic vindictive. and vindictive. Yes, he holds a grudge. Yes, he likes he'll violence. Wait, he'll yeah. wait fifteen years to like get revenge for you take his eye. You know. Mm. And I mean, the other thing is that, uh, like, ultimately, when he saw his brother flying in on his dragon, 
if he was old for protecting him, he would have just taken off then to protect him. Mm. But he just goes, you idiot, and then just waits. Just waited for the right moment to pop in. Yeah. Yeah. While they were mid-conflict. Yeah. So. To be fair, Aegon was losing that fight to start off with. If hey. Aegon had showed up, Rhaenys would have killed him. Oh, she she was going to clean, clean up. Yeah. She was going to kill him. He, she, I mean, she killed his dragon, and he, she was going to take him down with these. That was, there was no issue with that. Um, and she was going to clean up everyone there, including Cole and um, yeah. the, the Hightail brother. Uh, they were all going to die. Yeah. Unfortunately for oh, everyone, trap. Aemon has a, a big fucking dragon. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I guess the question is, yeah, can they overcome that big dragon? Because they well, already took out their biggest dragon. You know? Well, no, I have, they haven't, right? Isn't the whole thing that... Isn't there a dragon we haven't seen that, that Damon went to get or whatever? I don't think so. Or something like that. I remember there was something in season one. Because remember, remember um, Damon was obsessed with big dragons? Like we all are. Yeah. Yeah. And he was like, we need big dragons to win this war. And then he went to get one. It's not ringing any bells. It was like a secret cave or something. I know we got like dragon eggs. Nah, there was like a big dragon. I swear. I swear there's a secret dragon. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll find out. Well, I mean, the other thing is, is I'm, I'm just like, surely the numbers game wins here. Does it? <laughs> just pin to that motherfucker, you know? <laughs> I feel like if Renise had one of a capable drag mother, she would have been, they like, would have won. Well, to be fair, they assumed, she assumed she was going there. They weren't going to have any dragons. No. So it was just some random town castle on the side of the village. Had no value. Hmm. You know, they were just kind of drawing them out. So, mm. Mm. so it goes yeah. Eamon's big plan or whatever. Eamon and yeah, Eamon and uh, Sir Christian Cole's big plan. Yeah, what do you think? Well, how do we think we go from yeah? What do you think happens from here now? Well, they have to reveal Aegon's dead next week. <laughs> But the whole thing is to deal with uh, Allison. Yeah, and and not that I think it matters anymore because between this episode with people, like even that scene with Allison and um, Clubfoot talking about the, Mm. it doesn't really matter. Like continuing on the themes from last week, that it doesn't matter at this stage who's right, who's wrong. Anyway, the war's happening. Um, but like the the other thing is, it's like the whole the whole war was basically started because he's like he said Aegon, he said Aegon, like now Aegon's dead. So if he was the yeah. promised one, would he be dead? If he was the, the, the promised one to lead us all? No. No. But and Alison Allison in this Allison in this episode's already doubting having you can see all these doubts anyway. Like oh she's no, trying she to read up. She believes Aegon you know, wasn't intended to be the king. Yeah. So now he's gonna now it's gonna come back and be dead. So like I don't know how she can look. I don't know how she lives with herself. She just wakes up every day, keeps breathing, drinking water, <laughs> eating. It's hard to be rich. It is difficult. And powerful, you know. But she's got a good son, you know. You know, Aemon. You know, he will sure. take the throne. Just kill Bill him. Take the other eye. You know. <laughs> What's he going to do then? It's true. That's the secret. Just you know, it's very surprising that he can fly so well when you know you assume he doesn't have very good depth perception. True, he doesn't need it. That's why he needs a big dragon. You don't need <laughs> depth perception when you just take up more airspace. You know, just helps. Yeah. Objects in this dragon, objects in this dragon might appear closer than they are. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I guess the dragon's doing most of the work. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, I mean, the bat, like, do, do I assume most of the money in this season went into this episode, right? Yeah, probably. Do, you assume we, do we get any more battles of anywhere near this substance? I'll probably get maybe not like a dragon battle, but like actual human forces battle. Because there was a lot. There was like three dragons, a lot of extras, and a lot of CGI extras. Getting burnt to um, death. Getting burnt to death and or squished. crushed and whatever and squished, yeah. And got the cast and everything. Like that was a lot. Mm. A lot happening. And it all looked good, I gotta say. Continue to be like, you know, not that it should be that surprising that a HBO show of this caliber looks good, but yeah. Know, it does look good. So mm -hmm. after everyone's complaints about the end of Game of Thrones looking terrible and all that sort of stuff. Um this season or this show in general is yet to film a, a fight sequence that I feel people can Get angry about, yeah. I don't think. Uh, some of the tidbits, I guess, from this episode. Uh, Damon continues to be haunted. Yep. We get to meet the rich la witch lady in person, finally. Yep. Do you recognize her now that you see her yes, up close? Yes, yeah, I see her properly, yeah. Yeah, see her face, yeah. Um, don't know what's going on there, but 100% witch. Tell me she's not a witch. No, she said she's a barn owl that's been forced to live in the human body. Yep, 100% a witch. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's something a witch would say. <laughs> what, what is her story? Like, what do you, what do you reckon know, her? I'm excited to find out. <laughs> Just a weird lady. She's a weird lady. I like it, though. But she knows stuff. She knows stuff. Yeah, which is, it's always that, like, it's like Game of Thrones has, obviously, um, Melisandre. It's like, mm -hmm. in the Game of Thrones universe, there can only be one, one witch character, at the time. one weird witchy woman, yeah, <laughs> at home. They don't, they don't come in spades. They're just, yeah, one. Um, and then over in, uh, I can't remember the town or whatever, but uh, Corley's, uh, we get that scene. So, old mate who saved him, that's uh, mm. uh, uh his bastard, right? Presumably, presumably, is that what we're like the going theory is there? Yes, or his brother's bastard. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That makes... Like, obviously, the way Renee's uh, yeah. responded and everything just makes it, like, fiends. I'm like, that's someone's bastard, some relation there. Yeah, something related in some way. It was a very weird reaction, though. It's like... And we know... And, and this universe loves secret bastards, you know? Yeah, they do. It's like their favorite thing to do on the side. Um, and then, uh, what was the other thing? Uh, I guess, like, just Sarah's this episode? Shut the fuck up. Talk to your mother like that? I yeah. mean, he's just trying to take the lead, you know? She disappeared all of a sudden out of nowhere, mm -hmm. and you find out she went to King's Landing, which seems like the dumbest idea. Um, well, yeah. You know? Maybe you talk things out. And you're trying to defend her in front of this council of people who are constantly talking shit about her, you know, maybe, you know, you have a right to be a little bit angry. But still, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Something annoying, you know? Uh, and then, uh, Alison pregnant as well. No. What? That's not She's what... Not pregnant. She was pregnant. That's what that stuff's for. Yeah, that's what I mean. She was pregnant. No, that's not... It doesn't mean she was pregnant. It's like a plan B. Yeah, she she thought it's the morning she was after. Yeah, it's the morning after tea. I don't think I. Th I think it's that I think I'm pregnant. Oh fuck! Better kill the baby tea. It's what people go on strike for. No, because it's the same tea like the when Aegon like raped that girl. Like, mm. You need to drink this tea. Mm. Or when after when they assumed uh, Rhaenyra but, had sex. So, that one but time. Kristen's like, been gone for weeks at this tea. point. I don't it know. Can't be the she morning could be after. doing it with all sorts of people, you know. I guess so. That's <clears throat> why like, Laris took note of the the cup. He's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Trying to get involved he, in this. He, he spotted that straight away. Not, I don't. I'm. I'm going to upgrade from feet to to, a little to, bit more. to the real thing. Mm. Uh but I mean, 
just looping back because it's not too much to break down for this episode to be honest. Pretty straight, straightforward, as drastic as it is. Uh, King dies, sucks, but um, I love like it's sad. I was on the edge of my toes. Uh, Renee's going into battle, but I, I, I think obviously the standout moment of the episode. I can't not mention it. I, I that moment where I, sh- I thought she was flying away, and then she just says attack or whatever. I was like, oh, yeah. pretty badass. She just, she knows she's gonna die. And you would understand yeah. because. She yeah. didn't realistically have a chance of beating. No, but up. she's she's in for the fight. Yeah, she's the queen she's, who should have been. She's the queen who should have been. And she 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 went out like a champ. So mm-hmm. good on her. I love that was a cool moment. And then there's the moment of her speaking to a dragon and saying, uh, "Off the battle again." Yeah, old girl. <laughs> that was pretty cool too. Uh, anything else for you from this week's episode? I think the arc of Aegon during this episode is interesting. Like from him, like you know, in the council room, still trying to be, play the role of king, uh, and kind of getting dressed down by his brother. Uh, speaking to him in, in High Valerian, so they're the only ones who can understand each other. And like because he's uh, been scheming with Christian Cole behind their back and that kind of stuff, mm. kind of puts him in his place. Uh, especially after obviously last episode, Aeg- Aegon kind of, you know, embarrassed Aemon in front of his Maybe that's why I let, that's, what, that's why I killed him. Maybe. <laughs> so, you know, Aegon's feeling insecure. Uh, he goes to see his mother, the one person that he wants all this validation for, and she's like, listen, you need to do the one thing you're good for. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, just shut the fuck up. Get in Stop your... being a little bitch. Yeah. Just sit on the throne. That's sit all you need to do. Sit on the throne and take it. Just listen to what we have to let all us smart people around you. Yeah. And I love the, thing the, is, she's I love not the line. Like, um, yeah. Do you think as soon as you got that crown, you just filled with wisdom? Or and the look on his face was. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that not how it works? Yeah. So, of course, that gets him to go take the dragon up to mm. Red Root or whatever the place is called. So, you know. All these little breadcrumbs leading up to that big moment of him getting slaughtered by Rennes. <laughs> and then burnt to lion by his own brother. Yeah. That was good. Mm. All right. That'll do it. This week's episode of South the King's Landing. Of course, uh, tune back in next week. We'll be discussing next week's episode, uh, The Fallout. What's next week's episode called? Fucking, I don't know. This was the only one that was listed for ages. It was a lie. Everything's fake. Don't believe, I don't trust anything anymore. I mean, that one matter. shot of the two dragons like <laughs> being like twirling around with the fire mm. around. That's mm. cool. That was cool. Very good. Explosionhub.com, explosionhub.com slash Twitter takes you to our Twitter page. Explosionhub.com slash Discord takes you to our Discord page. Come talk to us in any of those places. Check out the other shows on explosionhub.com. Find some podcasts, on news articles, things to do over there. Until next week, council is over. 